Hey everybody, China 2 here, and welcome back to Riven, the sequel to Mist. When we last left off, I think we trapped again in the prison book. Let's look around his office and see what we can see. That looks like a different book. I'm not going to click on it. That looks like some lab equipment. More lab equipment, plus a bone. A scarab, which I cannot click on. What is this? All right, mission accomplished. Whatever that is, is off. Oh, that's what controls these books. I should probably leave that on. Don't really see any reason why not to. Okay, let's go over here. What's this do? Does that remove the cage? Indeedy do. And that takes us to here, which leads us to a, that's Catherine, to Gen, my husband? I can't read that, it's too blurry. I'm assuming that's Gen, right? Another book. So that was tap, 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 trill, ding. Right? Tap, 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 trill, ding. Okay. I don't even need to write that down. Yes, I do. Tap, 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 trill, ding. All right, so I think we can get Catherine out. Uh, what's in this book? All right, time to read yet again. Let me drink some water here. Let me uh, wet my whistle. It's a horrible phrase. I'm never going to use that again. It sounds nasty. All right. I start this latest journal with astounding news. Catherine has returned to the fifth age. And though it sets my teeth on edge to say it, she also vanished as quickly as she appeared, stolen from me by the rebels. As my guard tells it, she linked into the Fissure Plateau cage, as I'd guessed, when suddenly he was set upon... He was set upon... Oh, the, the guy that he sent, the guard, was set upon by a band of rebels who darted him and spirited her away. I suspect the truth of the matter was that he was actually so dumbfounded at actually witnessing someone link in after all this time that he presented an easy target for whichever rebel had happened by at that moment. The damnable luck of it. He did get a good enough look at her, though, to verify that it was indeed Catherine. He also claims that he inspected all of her belongings and found no linking book on her person, a fact which, if true, makes the question of why she's returning here all the more puzzling. While I'm sick with frustration at having lost the only quarry that Cage has ever caught, I'm also filled with hope she may yet provide me with a way back to Denis. It is true that I've managed, despite overwhelming odds, to break free of the confounds of the Fifth Age and resume my mission to save my culture from extinction, but I fear unless I am able to regain access to the vast resources that lie in the city's ruins, the task of reconstructing that great civilization will be impossible. If Catherine did bring a linking book with her, then I'm halfway there. If not, then she's trapped in the fifth age, and I can assume that my emotionally crippled son will soon be along to rescue her. 
Either way, it is crucial to my plans that I find her soon. Her presence here now forces me to take the rebels more seriously. I should never have permitted them to survive this long. Once again, the Great Wark... Great Wark? Has demonstrated its usefulness to me. This past week, the villagers have been most difficult to manage. Apparently, they have learned of Catherine's arrival, and their fear of this mythic beast... Wait a minute. Wark? That's a whale shark. A wark. Okay. Fear of this mythic beast has been all that's kept them in line. Had I known they truly useful, prodigious creatures would prove to be, I would have perhaps captured more of them while the local population was still plentiful. Although, to be sure, if these disturbances continue, my current pets will be in no danger of perishing for lack of nourishment. The search for Catherine continues. I now deeply regret my mistake of having ever taught the primitive people anything at all about the books. It seems that with each passing day, I'm more sorely realized to the extent of which they were not ready for that knowledge, not even in the simplified manner in which I had presented it to them. Their minds adapted only to the exceptionally menial tasks of village life, which incapable of comp were incapable of comprehending the act and all its complexity, and thus were unable to extract the essential underlying principles that are ironically so elegantly simple. It is obvious that much of the discord that exists between us stems from their failure to grasp the full meaning of the information I gave them. If they'd been able to gain even the smallest glimpse of the future I'd planned for them, then this conflict would not exist. The minds of children are much more malleable. With the proper instruction, they have developed a more appropriate posture towards the culture that gave them their lives. At times, they take it to almost if they had a bit of knee blood in them. Given the natives' inborn limitations, however, I'm quite careful that none gain a level of understanding that would permit them to sin against their future the way that Catherine did. How foolish I was to think that she could contain such knowledge responsibly when it was quite clear that my own son could not. Atrus, still he remains one of the greatest disappointments in my life. I should never have left him with my mother. By the time I had returned to him, he had already been poisoned to all thoughts of the Denis. Perhaps it was the only way that she could rationalize the fact that she had been responsible for the collapse of their civilization. His mother was responsible for the collapse of the Denis civilization. Okay. So much destruction, so many great lives lost, the guilt must have been unbearable. I do have vague rec recollections of the love she has had for my father and for our world, but ultimately she was an outsider whose ignorance of the Denis became the catalyst for the, their demise. If I am able to rebuild our culture and in the process correct such crucial weakness, then perhaps what she did was ultimately necessary in order that a new era of prosperity might someday come to pass. These last few weeks I have found myself frequently bereft with images from the past. As I stood in the schoolroom today, I was reminded of my own childhood. The years I spent on the Bookmakers Guild, father's immense pride at each of my small accomplishments there. He was an important man in the Dineen world, but can't bear to think of him for too long. It's too much. I was too young to see such a thing. I've got her. Late last night, I received word that Catherine was in the village attempting to per persuade the people to join her. I lost two good men in the process, but I would have paid a hundred times that number for such a prize. She's been taken to the prison island, where I'd been attempting to gain some insight as to the reason for her presence here. I've had to fight all but constant impulse to put her on the gallows. She has adopted the most infuriating stance of only answering my question when she answers them at all in her native tongue. Even so, she is a poor liar. I am now quite certain that her return to Riven was unintentional and that she brought no linking book with her. As far as her unwillingness to share with me the location of the Demoidy, we shall see. Without their leader, however, they are once again powerless against me. If Catherine's coming here was indeed an accident, then Atrus is bound to come for her. That is a given. The question I must now consider is, how will he do it? It is likely that his hesitation has been due, at least in part, to this dilemma. One way or another, though, he'll have to bring a linking book to get back to Denis. There's no other way. It's late and I cannot sleep. I've lost so much in my life. My people, my father, my son, and you, my wife... Keta, you were the only true kindness I've ever known, watching you flicker there in the imager. I sometimes wonder if you were real. 
If I could restore your life with my pen, I would do it in an instant and leave the rest of the world to their own wretched faith. Damn these savages. I would be well advised to leave them all in the fifth age and begin again with a clean sheet of paper. A stranger has arrived on Riven with a linking book to Denis, and once again my useless minion was overtaken by the rebels. From what little I could decipher from his muddled explanation, it apparently occurred sometime this morning. The cage has been damaged, but it is no matter. Everything I need is here now. Atrus is certainly behind this, yet how could he be so foolish as to send someone here with a linking book? Such blatancy is unlike him. Could it be that he has had a change of heart? After all these years, he is finally letting his poor old father go. No, he's only after one thing. Perhaps he should find her. For now, I need only to wait and observe. Drawer. Got your underwear. No, I don't. Man, you made your bed really nicely for, you know, someone who's never going to have anybody come in here. That's the... What is this? Just a sink? It's a light... Okay. Some, like a personal communication device to... Oh, that's the, uh, the lady he was talking about. He was viewing her on the imager and wondered if she was real. So she's passed away and dead. Yeah, that's the same one. We'll skip that. Oh, it's I'm sad for him. So that's the lady. That's not Catherine. That's the other lady he was talking about in his journal. And that's him. And he has a flute. Or an oboe. Alright. I'm glad I wrote down the uh, code because I already forgot it. I think it's like tap, 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 trill, ding. Let's give it a shot. So we need to go to here, but before we go, we are going to save the game. And we're gonna go save Catherine. Save, resume, boom, boom. Skip. Oops, we are here, press this button, skip. Turn around, let's go get her. So, We did it, I think. Yep, we did it. Hey, you're free. Come on, let's go. We have to move quickly. Ken's people may already know what's happening. Once we're back with the moiety, we'll have time to regroup. Can I see the book? You did it. We're all free. They're still his followers. I'm not sure what I'll do once I realize he's gone. I'll have to get the villagers to safety as soon as possible. You go back to the Temple Island and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Atrus. I'll try to make it back there as soon as I can, but don't wait for me. Don't forget, the portal combination's in my journal. Good luck. Uh, she broke that. Somehow. Hmm. 
don't know why she broke that. There's nobody up there, right? Okay, so we need to go back to uh, where the telescope microscope thing is as soon as I get control of the mouse, which I don't have right now. Still don't have. Paused. Oh, there we go. Just a really long outro there. We gotta stop this again? Why did you do that to me, lady? Okay, this one is when it closes horizontally. Oh, come on, I had that. There we go, we got it this time. I guess that represents her going through this portal, but it just, you know, adds work for us. I say portal, it's a dome with a book in it, but the book acts as a portal. I think that's it, right? Yep, that's it. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Oh, we're locked in here again? That's not cool. This is the right one, right? Oh, let me look. Yeah, this is the right one. This is where the big dome is. All right, and now we are here. And we go forward, we hit this. Can we skip it? We can. This way. And I think we can just... I think we can just lower this. Yeah, we can. And then just go out this way. And this. So, I've got my notes. Five, three... Two, five, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Hmm. Maybe it's one, two, three, four, five. Three, two, five, two. Five three two five two is the combination. Let's try this one. Five three two five two. Open. Oh, I just. Okay. Can we go in here? Can't go in here. Okay. Now we need to do this. feel like All right, we're looking at it so now what all right maybe we're too close
One more. One more. What are we supposed to be doing here? Open the hatch. She wanted us to signal Atris, right? Altris, Atris. Doesn't go down any further. We got this cool view here. Do we just hang out here? The gas is going in here. Hold on, there was... That's nothing, isn't it? Well, now I don't know what to do. I thought we were just going to open this and that was going to be like it somehow. Huh. So how do we signal... How do we signal Atris? Man, I, don't, I honestly don't know. I, th I feel like we've done everything. Uh, I wish I could remember what all she said. She said to open the star fissure, right? Anything else to click on or do? Can't look up here. Can't look up here. Huh. When we look down here, we can see this. It is a telescope. All right, let's look at her book. Uh, do, 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 then I assume we're to signal Atris. I think I know how it might be done, but don't signal him before I'm released. She's released. Let's go to the page with the star fissure cover code, and we'll read that again. God, there was so much in this journal. Here we go. Turn this, this moves, stop. Having once allowed Atris to escape this age without leaving an open door behind us, it has since been sealed with a skin of heavy iron. A crude telescope has been mounted over a locked viewport, the combination to which was acquired by the moiety before my arrival. This is a combination I unlocked a viewport. In the early days, the moiety seeking an escape from Ribbon briefly pursued the idea of reopening the fissure. They discovered a small mechanical stop to prevent the scope from hitting the portal window. Ultimately, however, oh, so we need to get rid of the stop. Uh ha I should have saved. Just 
kill everybody? I think I might have. Oh no. I should have saved. Is that Atris? There isn't much time. Where's Catherine? Where's the book? Atris! I don't know. We did it! I think. Why do you talk like that, Atrus? The path home is now clearer for all of us. Talk like a person. Ah, oh, that's what it looks like. Okay. This is where our paths must part. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. You know where to find me. Um. Are you gonna let me out of here? Or am I just going to be stuck here by myself? Oh, we got to go to the star fissure. That's pretty. Oh, it looks like that eye that we've been seeing everywhere. Wonder if that's some significance to the Denis. Now I understand. Endings and beginnings are within the fissure. That riven cleft of stars that acts as both a wall and a bridge. And though I am unable to understand how, the very flow of stars that brought my misbook into worthy hands, I am sure served as a safe passage home for my friend. The age of Riven is closed forever, but the people of Riven are free. And now I am at rest, understanding that in books and ages and life, the ending can never truly be written. Okay. Good job with the stories. Definitely a lot more to the story than anticipated. Mist just kind of had like a hint of a story. But it did link directly to this. Definitely much harder than Mist. And that door is bullshit. I'm sorry. So, we've made it through. I believe this is the good ending. I feel like it's the good ending. The bad guy is trapped in the book and we rescued Catherine. The only thing that didn't seem to be good was that we fell into a sea of stars. Um, I'll Google after this episode and see if the other endings are even worth like reloading to, to show. Maybe I'll do that in like a bonus episode after that. But this will be the finale episode. The door is bullshit. And that, uh, well, the other hint that I did was my fault. So two hints to get me through the game. Uh, what episode are we on? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17-ish. So we're looking at about... Six, seven, eight, eight, nine ish hours. Not too bad. Puzzles weren't too difficult, to be honest. Um, they were a little obtuse. I think I may have missed a uh, hint for the animal puzzle. But I did guess that the only other animal that we had seen that we even recognized out of them 
would be the only other one that we, we missed. So I'm curious as to where the hint for that one was and where we missed it at. Other than that, everything else seemed pretty straightforward as long as you paid attention. The number five was everywhere. Uh, the journal specifically stated that the eye symbols linked to colors. Uh, there was a number system. Now, I didn't fully grasp that number system. I think I, I figured out enough to get the password, but I still couldn't figure out which age he went to. Those numbers didn't make sense to me. I think I was thinking it was like 98, but there was an RD for like a third, so it should have been something third age. Can't figure that one out, to be honest. But other than the number system, everything else kind of lined up pretty good. Well, that's it. That's it. That's Riven. I enjoy these types of games. If you have suggestions for more games like this, they don't necessarily have to be in the Myst series, but that play like this, possibly even more modern, a little more friendly to stream, you know, fit the aspect ratio, be able to clearly see um, because of resolution, stuff like that, or, or even older stuff. I'm open to older stuff as well. Please suggest it in the comments because these are fun and they're actually relaxing for me to play and pretty easy for me to make uh, YouTube videos out of because I don't have to constantly be on. I can take a sip, sip of water. I can, you know, pause a recording, go spend time with my family, come back. It's not something where I have to constantly be uh, engaged like a Twitch shooter or something like that. So I enjoy these types of games. You guys seem to enjoy uh, watching them and my thought process with trying to figure out puzzles. It's the puzzles aren't the most difficult part to, for me, to be honest. It's always the seeing uh, a door or a switch or a lever or something like that. I, I, I have trouble seeing obvious switches seem to get me more than, like, the actual puzzles do. But, you know, there are harder games out there, so let's see what you got. Let me know in the comments. And uh, like always, if you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next series. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.